Women were stripped naked and forced into ice water at minus 20 degrees Celsius. The woman shivered in the extremely cold water. It's hard to believe this was the way mental patients were treated 100 years ago. This treatment is called hydrotherapy. There are many other such controls in this all-female mental hospital. As long as they did not listen to the doctors, they were treated as an illness and subjected to all kinds of cruel treatments. The patients had to endure until that day. The mental hospital has a new patient, Eugenie. Eugenie was born an aristocrat, but the reason she was sent to the asylum was because she could hear and see the dead. So she was sent to a mental institution by her normal parents. After she was admitted to the hospital, Eugenie was stripped naked and forced to undergo a full body examination. After making sure she was free of any illness, Eugenie was taken into the dormitory under the watchful eye of three cures. Fortunately, Eugenie is highly adaptable. She soon adapted to life here. After a period of careful observation, she found that most of the patients detained here were normal people without any disease. Most of them had been sent to the asylum by their husbands or other family members for various reasons. Others were found on their way to escape and forced to be taken away and treated. Over time, in the asylum of the endless torture methods, they also slowly become insane. And the purpose of this mental hospital is to treat patients as sick when they come in. Eugenie was determined to escape. If she doesn't leave, she might actually go insane. Now the only way for her to leave was to prove that she really could hear and see the dead, not that she was mentally ill. So Eugenie went to Genevieve, the head nurse. She began by mentioning Genevieve's dead sister in order to convince Genevieve. Eugenie also accurately described her sister's physical features. Even the little birthmark on her body is accurate. But Genevieve just thinks Eugenie got to know her sister in order to get away. She didn't care. However, she found out from Eugenie's words that Eugenie was not a psychopath. She went to the attending doctor and asked him to arrange for Eugenie to be sent out. But the doctor in charge wanted to keep Eugenie because she was beautiful. He kept brainwashing Eugenie. Anyone who can see ghosts is not insane. Eugenie quickly retorted, Yesterday, a girl said she could see God. You don't question her. Why am I psychotic because I can see ghosts? The attending physician was furious. He immediately ordered Genevieve to arrange for nightly spy treatments for Eugenie. But Eugenie is tough. She recovered quickly. Back in the dorm, Louise, who was in the bed next to Eugenie, kindly warned her with her body. But the next day, she was forcibly taken to perform for the rich. Louise was hypnotized. Under the hypnotist's command, she slowly raised her hands. From her belly to her lips, her expression made the nobles praise and stare. But the next moment, as if stimulated, Louise fell flat to the ground. Her body was rolling uncontrollably from side to side. Her limbs began to spasm. This scene immediately aroused the interest of the nobles. They all rose to watch. In their eyes, Louise was just a clown for entertainment. What they didn't know was that Louise was having a seizure because of the hypnotist. Meanwhile, Eugenie finds Genevieve again in order to escape the asylum. Eugenie allows Genevieve to talk to her sister, but in exchange, Eugenie would help her leave. Genevieve, missing her sister, agreed without hesitation. They came to an empty room. Soon, Eugenie was channeling. She put her head in her hands and felt the ghost in the room. Time is ticking away. I don't know how long it took for the Eugenie to make a sound. Just as Genevieve's patience was running out, Eugenie's body began to struggle. Her breathing became rapid. Genevieve quickly approached Eugenie and asked if the psychic was successful. But Eugenie said with a stern look on her face, your father's in trouble. He's in the kitchen. Genevieve did not have time to think, but hurried home. When she opened the door, her father was not in the kitchen. She was annoyed that she had been so impulsive that she had actually believed Eugenie. But then she noticed the bloody rack on the table. So Genevieve hurried to the second floor. Sure enough, she saw her father with a nosebleed. Fortunately, she got home in time. A tragedy was averted. That is why Genevieve is finally convinced of Eugenie's power. She also genuinely wants to help Eugenie escape the asylum. But Genevieve is not powerful enough. She couldn't just release Eugenie. So she went to the dean and asked him for help. But before she could speak, she was told that Eugenie had been forced to undergo treatment for disagreeing with doctors. It turns out that after Genevieve left, Eugenie was just scheduled for a medical examination. But she found out that Louise was paralyzed from the waist down because of hypnosis. She did not restrain herself from coming forward to scold the doctor. With this little gesture, she annoyed the doctor to the bone. After Eugenie was drugged with ether, she was forced to undergo a more brutal treatment. It's called eclipse therapy. Solar eclipse therapy involves locking patients in a secret room with a small skylight. The skylight is only open for a few minutes a day. This is all the more painful for Eugenie, who can see ghosts. In the tiny chamber, Eugenie was tortured to the point of collapse, when she could not hold on. 
Genevieve finally found an opportunity to sneak up on her. Genevieve says she will definitely take Eugenie out. Genevieve approached the dean, who requested that Eugenie be transferred back to a regular ward. And she got an unexpected piece of news. In a few days, there will be a gala ball at the asylum. At that time, many nobles will choose to attend. A plan was born to help Eugenie escape the annual celebration ball at the Looney Bin. The group of so-called mad women were all dressed up to the nobility's liking and presented to them. After drinking a lot of wine, the women gradually got drunk. The nobles began to harass them. Some men even held Louise, who was hemiplegic, because they like women who do what they're told. Fortunately, a female patient was careful. After she found Louise disappeared, she immediately broke into the room with her patients, who had a voice and rescued Louise. They also beat up the aristocrats. Eugenie, for her part, is also using the dance to escape the loony bin. With Genevieve's help, Eugenie meets her brother. Although she was excited, she appeared calm on the outside. Not far away, a care worker was staring at her. Fortunately, Eugenie found an opportunity. She ducked into the crowd while the nurse chatted. She made her way to an empty room under Genevieve's cover. After changing into casual clothes, Eugenie and her brother followed Genevieve to escape through the back door. The car they had arranged was waiting outside. As they were about to leave, the nurse finally noticed that Eugenie had disappeared. She led several carers to chase Eugenie. In the end, Genevieve chose to stay. She refused to leave with them. Despite her reluctance, Eugenie enters the carriage and leaves at Genevieve's urging. In the end, Genevieve was sent to the asylum as a mental patient for letting Eugenie escape. Eugenie did not return to her family. She went to live alone by the sea. In the years that followed, she would write to Genevieve and share with him moments of her life. Genevieve, who received the letter, seems to follow Eugenie to the beach. She was spiritually free.